بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد طاہر اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی یوٹیوب چینل انجینئرنگ اسٹوڈیو ان دا لاسٹ ٹو ویڈیوز وی ڈسکس دا ڈسٹریبیوشن آف اسٹیٹک موومنٹ ان ٹو کالم اسٹریپ اینڈ میڈل اسٹریپ ان دس ویڈیو وی ول سالو ون ایگزامپل ٹو شو ہاؤ وی کین کیلکولیٹ دا موومنٹس ایٹ کالم اسٹریپ اینڈ میڈل اسٹریپ So after solving this example, we will be clear how we can select the movement coefficients from the ACI code. Example is, find the movements on columns and middle strips for a flat slab supported on columns having square panels without interior and edge beams. So the data given over here is that the slab is a flat slab. So flat slab, it means it has no interior beams and as well as there is no edge beam and the panels of the slab are square so what we need to do we need to calculate the moments at the column strip and middle strip here we will assume that all the limitations of direct design method are satisfied we need to solve for these two spans and span and interior span assume here the static moment is m not here is also m not so we need to distribute this m not into longitudinal direction as well as in transverse direction regarding vertical direction the distribution to the beams as there is no beam so there will not be any vertical distribution from column strip to the beam so first of all the distribution of static moment in the longitudinal direction so we need to calculate the moment negative moment at exterior support positive moment at the center and negative moment at the interior support so this static moment m not will be distributed at the exterior support at the middle span and the interior support so after distribution this shape will turn like this negative moments at the ends and positive moment at the center okay first of all for end span we need to select the total moments negative positive and negative so as in our case there is no edge beam as well as interior beam so we will go into the corresponding table given in aci code and select the suitable coefficients so i have placed those tables over here so this table table 8.10.4.2 this is for the distribution of static moment into longitudinal direction distribution coefficients for end span so we need to select the suitable case so the suitable case is slab without beams in between the interior spores and without edge beam so this red highlighted area will be our required case so in that case the interior negative moment is 0.7 positive is 0.52 and exterior negative is 0.26 times static moment m not so we can see our selection over here at exterior negative the moment will be 0.26 times static moment m not and at the center it will be 0.52 m not and at the first interior spot it will be 0.7 m not as we have seen over here in this table in the red highlighted area so this was for end span for interior span we know that for interior span the distribution is like this just like a fixed ended beam at the ends the moment is 0.65 m not and the other end again the moment negative moment is same 0.65 m not and at the center 0.35 m not let's see our selection so here it is 0.35 m not positive and interior negative 0.65 m not so this is the longitudinal distribution for this frame okay the next is transverse distribution we need to distribute this moments exterior negative interior negative and middle positive to the column strip and middle strip so for column strip we can select the coefficients from the tables given in aci code and for middle strip we will find the moments 
for middle strip by subtracting the contribution of column strips from the total exterior negative positive or interior negative moment. So the moment which is not supported by the column that will be supported by the middle strip. Okay, so let's make the selection for first case end span and exterior negative. For exterior negative we have this table, this one, portion of exterior negative in column strip. So as we know in our case there is no interior beams as well as exterior beams so alpha f will be equal to 0. Similarly as there is no beam so it means beta t targinal beam is not there so beta t will also be 0. And one more information was given that the panels are square panels. So it means L2 over L1 is also 1. So these three informations are given that are required for this table alpha, beta and this aspect ratio. So from here 0, 0 so we will select this value which is 1. What it means? It means the 100% of the moment at exterior negative support will go to the column strip. So I have made this selection over here. So 0 0.6 time M0 which is the total exterior negative moment. So the complete will be resisted by the column strip. So the portion of middle strip will be 0. No moment will be resisted by the middle strip in case of exterior negative moment. Similarly, for positive moment, we need to make the selection. So for positive moment, the moments coefficient are given in this table over here. So again, alpha f is 0 and aspect ratio is 1. So the coefficient will be 0 0.6. It means whatsoever is the positive moment, 60% of it will go to the column strip and remaining 40% will go to middle strip. So the 60% of this 0 0.52, so we have for example x, the positive moment, sorry we can call it as m positive, it is 0 0.52 m naught and the portion registered by the column strip is 0 0.6 time this M positive or 0 0.6 times 0 0.52 M naught. So it will become 0 0.31 M naught. So in this way we can calculate the moment registered by the column strip. Okay, for middle strip it will be like this M positive minus column strip moment and M positive was 0 0.52 M naught and column strip moment was 0 0.31 M naught. So the remaining will be 0 0.21 M naught. So this 0 0.21 M naught will be registered by the middle strip. Okay, for interior negative moments, the coefficients are given in this table. over here. So again the alpha f is 0 and aspect ratio is 1 so the factor will be 0 0.75. What it means? The 75 percent of this interior negative moment will be resisted by the column strip. So the column strip moment will be equal to m negative interior times 0 0.75. So 0 0.75 times 0 0.7 m naught. So m interior negative is 0 0.7 m naught. So it will become 0 0.53 m naught. And moment for middle strip will be equal to again 0 0.7 m naught m interior negative minus 0 0.53 m naught moment registered by the column strip. So it will be 0 0.17 m naught. So the similar procedure will be adopted for interior span. So this is how we can select the 
movement coefficients from the ACI code. So once we have their values, so the next step will be to calculate the reinforcement. So that will be just similar to that of for the simply supported beam or for the one way or two way slab. So based on the moment we need to calculate the reinforcement ratio and from reinforcement ratio we can select the diameter of bar and the spacing. So just for practice I have designed one task. In the next video inshallah we will solve a complete design example using direct design method.